getting back to the electoral advantage that is um, uh, available for the Democrats in 2022, if they, instead of shying away from protecting a woman's right to choose, and I understand the limitations again, but I'm talking rhetorically, say the words abortion, say the words individual right that has been taken, stolen away by the uh, Supreme Court after 50 years. Because Republicans, they have yet to reveal themselves. We played that clip earlier of um, Mark Levin. We've played clips in the past weeks of all the right wingers trying to diminish the implications of this ruling. It's not going to change much. It's no big deal. It's just up to the states and blah, blah, blah. They don't want to get into this because the more they talk about what is actually going on, the more bat crap crazy it sounds to normal Americans. That's just simply the reality. They want to get rid of contraception. They don't want this just to be um, abortion, something that is after conception. They want it to be after like fertilization of the eggs. They don't care about the, the exception to rape and incest and life of the mother. They just do that because they know it's politically expedient. But there's, there is the vanguard there that's going to try and get rid of that because they can now. Here is um, Virginia congressional candidate Yel, uh, Yelsley Vega. She's a Republican. She is at uh, like a campaign headquarters or something. It, like it was a campaign event last month in Virginia. There was some like leaked audio of uh, her speaking to a consumer. There's a leaked audio. We're not clear where it came from. Axios got a hold of it. And you can hear the um, uh, whoever it is is asking her what they think about rape exemptions for abortions. And she's a former law officer, police. She's a former cop. And she has a very interesting, unique perspective on the ability to get pregnant with rape. It apparently doesn't happen that much. Why? No, the left will say, well, what about in cases of rape or incest? I'm a law enforcement officer. I became a police officer in 2011. I've worked one case where as a result of a rape, yeah. the young woman became pregnant. Really? And it's my job, number one, as a believer, right, to give you all of the resources available. Right. If you decide to deviate and do something else, we don't stop loving you. Right. That's when you need even more support, right? right? right. Because of the data that we have, it's been proven that women that do move forward with an abortion, you gotta thank Lisa they for suffer so much, right? Okay, so there it is. Like and a, also, and also, just to say, per Axios, there's the we we can play the second part too. Um, per Axios, the identity of that person asking the question is still not known, but they but the uh, Vega campaign did not dispute the right. It's it's of the uh, audio. exactly, and her job as a believer, in other words, I am a theocrat. <laughs> I am a theocrat, and uh, that is my job number one. She's saying this at her, you know, campaign, uh, campaign uh, event also, for Congress <sighs> now. And she's sort of saying, like, look, and I don't know how many cases she worked, but what is the number of cases that you can ignore in terms of like uh, having to be forced uh, to carry to term a pregnancy from a rapist? How many incest cases did she work? Probably none. It's not uh, something that you get called to as a cop. Yeah, and I also say probably she didn't work that one rape case because there was only one rape in that entire jurisdiction. Probably a lot of didn't get reported and different things like that. So of course. Insane metric. But the implication is, like, it rarely happens. It is far less rare than uh, the so-called, you know, late uh, third trimester abortion. That's for sure. And, and those are often, I would imagine, uh, similarly situated. Here's the second clip. Well, I've even, you know, you were saying you only ran into one instance of, of pregnancy as the result of rape. And I mean, I've actually heard that it's, it's harder for a woman to get pregnant if she's raped. Have you heard that? Well, maybe because there's so much going on in the body. I don't know. I, I haven't, I haven't 
you know, seen any studies. Yeah. But if I had to, if I'm processing what you're saying, it wouldn't surprise me yeah. because it's it's not it's not something that's happening organically. Yeah. Right. right. You're exactly. forcing it. That the body shuts down yeah. in some way. Yeah. And then the individual, the the male, is doing it as quickly. It's not like yeah. you know. And so I can see why maybe there's truth to that. Okay. But, it's, yeah. it's not organic. It's not an organic. Um, I mean, this is this is a theocrat stuff. This is I mean, this is not anything different than we've heard in the past from other uh, uh, Republican uh, lawmakers or people running candidates. What was the guy's name from? This was uh, uh, straight out of the Todd Akin playbook. Yeah, Todd Akin. <laughs> I mean, but the thing is, is that this is not a coincidence. They are theocrats. They are religious fundamentalists. That is what is driving this entire thing. So there is no reasoning. There is no, like, well, maybe if we don't get too explicit about abortion. No, that is over. That is over. That has failed. That is a failed. We are 50 years out from that decision. There has been nothing but tiptoeing around this from at least as early as the 90s. Maybe it was before then, too. by the Democrats. But that was only 20 years out from the decision. 30 years later, it did not work, the pussyfooting around. It did not, I mean, we wouldn't do this with the right to vote, although it hasn't been defended as vigorously as maybe I would like. The Supreme Court has assaulted that. But you wouldn't ever think to do that. This is a right that was established by the Supreme I mean, look at how ferociously the right fights for this unenumerated right that they found in the Second Amendment for individuals to walk around with vast 22nd century killing machines. They're theocrats and um, Democrats need to be and people who support abortion rights need to start being a lot more explicit about it.